Hey what's up guys and welcome to today's video. This is day 4 of the career mode. And we've got a League Cup game against Oldham Athletic. So I'll start off by changing our lineup a little bit, putting Monocure at Cam, Solo up front, and uh, Harry at left mid as usual. I still need to bring some players in, but I'm going to look into the youth system a lot more than I thought it was going to be, because I really don't have the money in case people want to upgrade their contracts slightly, and this could cause a problem for us if we have no money to do it, so we could lose key players like Sordell, Harriet, and Massey. Well, obviously Harriet's on loan, so that's not really a problem. But within the first three minutes we conceded, and literally it was a poor, poor effort. Like, we got passed around like absolutely fucking no tomorrow. And uh, I have no idea what Elico, uh, fucking my center packs were doing. They literally just split apart. But we were chasing the game from the off, to be honest. And there's a nice bit of passing movement between Edwards and Monocure here. Put it out to Vincent Young. And I have the same problem as usual, like, literally passing to the through. They, they had a C, their CDM set up so that they were pressing. And that was causing me many issues, because literally all they had to do was press, press, press. And that was it, done. They stopped us playing. And it caused so many issues for me. Like, absolutely loads of issues. And the first half, after this goal, we were just chasing the game and chasing the game. And we didn't really have many efforts, because we just couldn't get past them. So, as you'll see, the first half was just an absolute ball draw. Like, there was nothing. They didn't get through, I didn't get through. And, I mean, Luton Town, I thought, oh, because they're a League 2 side. Pray Pierce, you know, will go through. But as you see here, they were just cutting me apart. I mean, we've still got Elliot Parrish in goal, and he was doing absolutely brilliant. But I still think I need a better goalkeeper than him. Because we just don't have the options in goal. We have him and a young keeper that's just not very good. And as you see, Josh McCoy scored for Luton Town. And we go into the second half and see if we can rectify it. Which I hoped we could do. I think we sorted our passing issue a little bit out. That wasn't too bad. We were playing one twos here and there and getting around the, the defence a little bit better in the second half. But still, we weren't the way I wanted us to play. And that's what was causing us issues. And as you see, they, they just cut us apart every time. And that was the problem we had in this game. Like, they were literally just cutting us apart and cutting us apart. But in this second half, we started doing the same. And we started playing a little bit better, but that final through ball was what was causing us the issue in this game. And it's something I really do need to look into, especially on transfer deadline day, because there's probably some hidden gems out there that I could pick up on loan or pick up for free that will just dominate this team so much better. But Lewin Town was strong, they held their own, and um, I thought we're League 1, they're League 2. You know, we'll get through... But as you see here, like we get into 60th minute and we've still got nothing. And Monocure tries to get a shot away, but both the defenders are there blocking him. But literally my team didn't stop trying. And we get a free kick just here. And uh, originally Monocure was going to take it, but I thought I'd have a look through and see who I've got. And I noticed uh, Owen Garvin. Or it was a Craig Garvin, Owen Garvin, one of the two. Had 72 free kick accuracy, so I thought I'll have a go with him. And fucking bang, what a goal. Absolute fucking stunning goal. And I didn't expect that from somebody. Like, I can barely score these with, like, Messi or Ronaldo. But I've just scored this with a 68 rated CDM. And look at this from another angle. This is absolutely beautiful. He's 31 yards out. And he just belts it into that top right corner. The keeper's completely beaten. The wall's beaten. Everyone's beaten. And it just buries it home. And what a left footed strike as well. But then we face the same problems we had in the first half. We get one all. 
and then this happens. And I was not impressed. We just get passed around. Passed, passed, one, passed, passed, right back. Crosses in, bang, header. I have no idea what the fuck Elliot Parrish was doing there. I have absolutely no fucking clue what he was doing. That was fucking awful goalkeeping, and I'm not impressed. He just stood there. If he puts his left arm out, all he's got to do is get his fingertips on that and push it away. But no, he fucks up. So it's one all. Uh, two one, sorry. So we try passing around, and we're passing around. And Garvin and everyone else is getting tired, and I mean really tired. Like, they just cannot hold their own. So I'm thinking, oh shit, we're going out in the second round. We got through the first round with a 4-2 win. But we need to get through this round. Because ideally, I want to get to at least the fourth round of both cups. At least. So I, I sit and I'll make some substitutions now. And I'm thinking, I'll bring on, I can't even say his name. Cisco Mosi, something like that. I'll bring on a centre back to sort of stealthy up for our defence in winter. And then I thought, who else can I bring on? Ambrose, who you can play instead of Edwards. And I thought, yeah, he's a left mid, but he might be able to cut inside and pull off a few decent passes or crosses or something. And as you see here, they're just playing around in their defence. And their defence is absolutely beautifully, beautifully put together. Like, it was so hard to cut them down all the time. And I mean, really, really difficult to cut them down. But before the substitutes come on, probably a nice one too. Sordell puts Monocure through. He finds a little bit of space. A little bit and just smashes it past the keeper to make it 2-2. And at this fucking point, I was fucking elated. Like, I was jumping up and down like, what the fuck? Because I've, I've found it really difficult with the gameplay with this team. But I'm now starting to get into the fact of I can score goals with them. And I was absolutely fucking elated that this had gone in. I mean, the keeper had no chance. If the, It had one or two options. It was going to hit the post, or it was just going to go in, and it went in, thankfully. So it's 2-2. And I'm feeling, let's see if we can try and get another goal, see if we can go through, bef instead of having to waste energy and, like, stamina in this game, going through to, like, fucking um, extra time. And I was really hoping we didn't have to. See, Sordell holds up the ball, puts it through for... And then it's a nice one too, and we're just offside. Literally just offside. And we get two minutes of added time going on to this game. I mean, it'd be really nice if we got quite far in the cup. But obviously, we've still got the Johnson's Paint trophy to come as well. But as I said, they just literally they can hold their own against me, and that's the problems I'm suffering with this team. Like every team has their own little speciality that they can bring to the game to stop you, like going any further with it. And that's the problems I'm facing with this team. Like they are a really, really good team, Colchester United, but they just suck in trying to keep the game together. So we're going to extra time now. And I want to see if we don't have to go to penalties because I don't think this team will stand up in penalties. And as you see here, they go straight through. Uh, nothing unusual. They're just going straight through our defence. So we managed to clear the ball. And we get a nice one-on-one -on -one with Sordell. And I was hoping at this point he'd just smash it past. But the keeper makes an absolutely athletically brilliant save. If I did get through, it was on the counter-attack. If I didn't, I was just literally fighting to get past those last two centre-backs. And that was the issue it was causing me. But as both teams start to tire, it was me that sort of came out a little bit better off. Like, my players were starting to hold their own a little bit. We also managed to keep catching them offside, which is something that was just helping our gameplay because it was shutting them down but keeping us going. And the 
problem I also had was my goalkeeper kept giving the goddamn fucking ball away. As you see here, we're just holding our own. We're just going through, playing that bit of counter-attack, and then we get a nice little fruit ball, but the centre-back gets there first. But Sordell won't give up. He just will not give up. We get one minute of added time, and that's it for the first half of extra time. We go into the second half of extra time and we're trying to find a way through. We're trying to find a way to just literally pinpoint them through. And I get a nice one two here between Sazuma and Sordell. And Sordell literally just has to get his leg either side of that ball and just scoop it past the keeper. And he just couldn't do it. I mean, it was an absolute brilliant try. And if we got there a second later, I think he could have put it through the keeper's legs. But we get a corner here. And it's just cleared. I mean,. The problem we have is we don't have a lot of tall players in this team. And that's something that does affect this gameplay because we just don't win headers a lot. And my players are absolutely goddamn tired. Harry has got no stamina left. He's, he's done. But he still carries through the ball, puts a nice pass in. And yet again, the defenders just get there. They shut me down, they shut down what I'm trying to do, and they hit us on the counter. We've got four minutes of extra time left, and look at this save from the keeper. If Sordell got there a second earlier, that was going in. So we start playing it around a bit, see what we can do, see if we can cut them apart. But we haven't got long left until it's penalties, and I was really, really hoping we wouldn't have to. We get a free kick here. After one of the CDMs for them took out Siskamoski, I'm going to call him. So I thought I'd set up Garvin again, see if he can bang one in. And it just, it just goes wide. Like, there was no hope. Now we get two minutes of extra t extra added time into extra time. The keeper boots out, we win the ball back. Sordell's going for that last chance. He puts through Siskamoski and he's all he's got to do is just tap it. And that extra touch lets us down every time. We're trying to see if we can get one more chance, but I don't think we're going to get it. And we go through to penalties. I mean, Luton Town really have held their own. Look at the shots, look at the stats. And I've set up my penalty takers. They get the first penalty. I start dancing around, moving around, seeing if I can get there. And he hits the fucking bar. And I'm like, Yes, we got our chance. So I set up Garvin, I set up to go to the left, and he just taps it away. Their second penalty with Craig McHale Smith. Dancing around, and if I hadn't danced, I probably would have saved that, to be honest with you. Dean Ambrose next. And he just taps it away. I mean, these guys are not bad on penalties for a team. I'm really surprised. I thought, oh fuck, here comes penalties, and now I'm going. They put away their second of the game. Two out of three for them. Sordell steps up. Taps it to the left. Nice and easy. And literally I was just standing here thinking. If I can. I was like I'll go down to the right. And they're probably going to go there. And they didn't. They just went straight down the middle. So I thought I'll just tap it to the left. See what happens. Send the keeper the wrong way. And Elliot Parrish steps up. If they miss this penalty, they're out. They send their captain forward. And I'm thinking, I'm going to dance around and then I'm going to go to the left. And if they don't save it, I don't save it. And look at that. He fucking saves it. Absolute beautiful penalty save. Anyway, that's it from me today, guys. We've gone through to the third round of the League Cup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep following the TRG channel. Have a good day, everyone.